Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this another interactive video that is related to our answer writing tips. As you are going through the civil services examinations and I hope you have done exceptionally well in your GS examinations. And now comes the turn of your optional that is geology. Since you guys have chosen this optional paper for a score better and we have created this channel to assist you. So let's fulfill our promise through these answer writing tips. Let's talk about the presentation of our answers. While practicing the GS answers, we have come to know ki what is the importance of an organized answer and uh, which is filled with the relevant materials and uh, which is complete. So we try to complete our answers with a beginning with a solid definition and uh, we are putting some examples and we are putting some socio-economic, political and environmental perspectives and finally concluding the answer. But unfortunately, in geology, we are not provided with this socio-economic and environmental factors. So we have to devise our own strategy and here it comes. Here I am providing you a very general approach through which you can solve each and every question. If you are knowing the answer key how to present it, then it is well and good. And if you don't know, you can follow this approach and write a good answer. Best way to begin your answer is with a definition. A simple, concise and with keywords defi definition is going to create a better impact on the examiner. You try to enrich your definition with the help of examples. If it is possible, you pro try to provide the genesis as well as occurrences. You can put label diagrams also. It is going to make your answer look very good. Try to finish your answer with the application portion. It is going to act like a conclusion of any general answer. Now coming to a few very specific topics like uh, structural geology. Suppose you have got a question related to fault. So now you can start your answer writing by providing a simple definition of the fault. Like these are the planes uh, or discontinuities along with the relative moment has taken place. After that you can provide the mechanism like uh, if it is a normal fault it is formed by the extension process or it, if it is a reverse fault it is formed by compressional forces you can draw simple block diagrams representing the fault plane dip slip strike slip and uh, all those things and uh, at last you give examples in stratigraphy suppose you got a question related to the vindian supergroup then according to me the bed situation is like start with the age okay and after that you give it you give some distribution like uh, they are occurring mainly in the central india Lithology, like it is composed mainly of uh, sedimentary rock and now give description about ki what type of sedimentary rock whether it is sand, stone, lime, stone, shell. After that you mention the structures associated with the Vindians. Uh, if it is possible give some locations like uh, faults occurring on the western mar margin or eastern margin. You can mention about the micro fossils present. In every stratigraphic question don't forget to put a stratigraphic column. You know. I think at least two marks directly brings you the stratigraphic succession that you have written or drawn. If it is possible, on a rough sketch of India map, give the location ki where they are occurring. In this way, you can complete your answer. So that's it from our side. If you have any queries, then please reach us. We will sort it out. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.